Hi, this is Joette with BloomCoach.com. Glad that you're here today to learn out a little bit more about how to use Facebook in your business and to know the difference between friends and fans. One of the number one mistakes that I have seen happen in the balloon industry is many people are using their personal page as a business page or they created a second personal page to be their business page instead of going through the steps of setting up a business page because fans and followers are different than friends. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna start a recording from Mindy Neal, who is the computer person that I'm working with to manage my website and to manage all the wonderful things with our GoToWebinar program and your classes that happen live each month. So what we're gonna do is to start her training and have her walk you through the steps that help you be successful. And what happens is sometimes I found that just maybe one or two of these tricks or something you didn't realize was available for you to do. So I hope you enjoy the video and I will um, answer some questions at the end and um, we can also um, talk about this more on Facebook. So here we go. This is showing you that you are on a business page and how you see where they're asking them to sign up or like. So it's really important that you look at a page. So what he did is he put a newsletter sign up tab on his business page. And then he was going through MailChimp. You can do it through any of your marketing um, newsletters that you use, that you're able to do a new newsletter sign up on your business page. Now this is taking you to Mindy's personal page. And it's just showing you that this is her and her friends when they went hiking in the Grand Canyon. And that you can always see that you have friends. With a, biz, with a personal page, you can have up to 5,000 friends. But after 5,000 friends, you can no longer have any more people on your personal page. The difference is on a business page, you can have an unlimited amount of fans. What happens in business is you're linking from your personal page to your business page. You always have to log in as yourself first onto your business page before you then go and do work on creating an actual business page. When you think about your friends, the friends are the people who support you and know you, where fans are the people who are actually the people you're going after for your business. So you use the right click arrow to go down and look at the pages that you manage and are able to pick whichever page. So you can have multiple pages 
if you happen to have different companies that you are organizing. For her, she works and supports different businesses. So this is the cover page for a real estate agent. And they have a call to action that says, click here and dive in. When you click on that, it shows you the phone number, the call her today, and her actual address for her website. So you can put a call to action on the cover photo of your business page. And then as they click on that, you can now see how it becomes larger and gives them that call to action, call you today, or can also have your website or other information that you really want people to see when they come to your business page. And it gets them to dive in and take action now rather than just being a blank picture. Where they have Pinterest, you can also hook your business Facebook to a Pinterest account. And for her, everything's very visual in real estate, like us in um, balloons. So by clicking on the Pinterest page, it links you up to that business Pinterest page and allows people to see all of the beautiful photos that you've put on Pinterest. Again, it's a way to link yourself up so that your business page is actually working for you and making people active. On the timeline, you can always post things and put your most recent events and your, have people comment and interact with you on Facebook because of the wonderful pictures that you're posting. You know, make it a creative, clever thing that you're typing in when you're posting those photos of the work that you've done. She uses a program called Buffer to publish things. And it allows you to set things up in advance and have everything ready to go online for you. So this is showing you that you're on a page where people like you and it's a fan page versus being on a personal page, which is this page now that has your friends. So if right now when you click on your business and it has friends, then you are not on a real business page. You need to go up to your top arrow and click on it to create your fan page. Um, so, and again, just a reminder, on a fan page, you can have an unlimited amount of fans. So on the down triangle, you'll go down and create a page. As you create the page, you will then select local business or place um, because you're not a, a brand, um, you're not a product um, or company or organization, you're a local business or place. So that's going to be your first step is to click on that when creating your new business page. Now when you select the local business, you're going to choose a category. And the one that is most applicable to the balloon industry is for you to go down to the one that's event um, planning and event services, and then type in your business name. She was just typing in um, balloons um, RS um, to be fun, just to be an example. And then you can put in your street address. If you do not want to put your physical street address, you can skip the house number and then put your city, state, and zip code so that it still pulls up on Google, your phone number, and click Get Started. A lot of times, um, people miss this step on the top where the event planning and services are, so you want to go back and fix that in your um, setup. Or if you're doing this brand new, you want to make sure that as you do that, you're putting yourself under the event planning and event services because it helps people find you. After you click Get Started on the Create a Page, it's now going to take you to the step-by-step -step of how you need to type in about you. This is really important for you to use some really good keywords so that you're putting the name of your business and what you do. You want to type in that you do balloon deliveries, balloon arches, balloon columns, details of the type of work that you provide for people so you use up that full 155 digits. Now you want to go down here and choose a unique Facebook web address. This is one of the number one things I see people mess up, is you want this to be able to say 
facebook.com backslash for me, it says ballooncoach.com. So for her, she's putting in the right name for the company that you're using. And as long as somebody else doesn't already have that domain listed on Facebook, you'll be able to have this URL. So it's really good. You can go back at any point and change this if you haven't done it before um, to make sure your URL is there and it's correct. So it's easy when you're sending a hot link to somebody to look at you at Facebook that they'll be able to have that information. You want to make sure you type in your category. Again, you're an event planner is probably going to be the number one closest to what we do. And yes, if you do have a business page set up, you are able to go back into these systems and set them up. And then here you're putting a hot link to your website. So you're putting in your HTTP and the actual name of your website.com so that people, when they are on your Facebook page, can link to you. Now, this is telling you that that um, domain name was already taken. So she had to change it a little bit for the demonstration. Now it's going to go to profile picture. You want to put something there that is either your logo or a per picture of you as the owner. You upload it from your computer, but for right now we're skipping that. To add to favorites, you want to go ahead and make sure that you're putting this in your newsfeed so that when you're on your personal page, you can see when comments are going on and have notifications to be able to go look at your business page. The number one thing that Mindy says people forget to do is to set up your preferred page audience. A lot of times what happens is you're not going to want to target people in other countries or in other states unless you're a person that's a traveling company. So it's really important for you to decide, are you looking at both men and women? Are you just targeting women? How old? What's the age range? And then what are the areas that you want to include? the cities, the states, the zip codes. So you are being able to really target in on people seeing your Facebook page from your target audience. Because if you just say it's everyone in the world, then that's just really huge and you may not be set up to do that kind of travel. So doing that preferred audience is really important. So this is showing you now the page. If she had put pictures, she would have a photo in her um, profile picture and a photo over the top. Okay. One of the things is to let you know the difference between a fan page and a group page. Some people do like to set up groups if they're working with a network of other professionals in their area to plan an event. Um, you'll see I'm currently on Mindy's page. You know, this is her personal page, and there was a message that I put out there. So she saw me in her news feed. Um, and she's going over to the side and clicking on um, a group that she wants us to see that she um, is in. So on this group, it's through her Infusionsoft, and it's a way for them to communicate um, about trainings and things that are going on. So if you would ever want to set up a user group, um, a team of people in your area that you want to communicate with, or it, I've even done this before for a special event where I was working on a wedding showcase and there were 20 vendors involved. And by having our own Facebook group, we made it a closed group so nobody else could get in. And we were able just to be able to talk about all the details that were going on with that event without other people being able to see our conversation and without having to try to read through 100 emails that have people replying back and forth. You were able to see everybody's information. To create a group name, you just go to the down arrow, go to create group. And then after you go to create group, you'll put the name in. You can add talk about what type of people will be in the members, and then you decide if it's going to be public, closed, or secret. So a secret group, nobody sees it all, like they don't even know that it's on there. A closed group, people can see it, like Balloon Coach Community is a closed group, 
and they can ask to be a member of it. And then I say yes or no if they have paid for a paid webinar with Balloon Coach. All right. So she's just showing you other ways that you can go on to see the groups that you have. But notice that there's always different notifications on the left. That's really what's nice about making sure that you put your business page into your news feed is so that you can get notifications and know when people are active and um, interacting on your page. All right, so that was from Mindy Neal, and she has a website, which is mindyneal.com. And if you want other help in the future, um, she would be glad to help you out um, and help you figure things out within your Facebook page. Again, one of the number one things that I've seen people do over the years when they're doing a business website is that they have set it up as a personal page rather than a business. And then sometimes you've mixed those different details of you know, who your target audience is um, and not knowing how to be able to put all those really extra calls to action into your Facebook page. Um, in a quick mini webinar, we're not able to go through all the details on how to do everything, um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick overview. Um, one person's asking if I recommend for creating a special group for VIP customers. If there's something that you would want to do where you were having specials just for those VIP customers, um, it's a possibility that they might enjoy that. Um, I personally have never done it, so if you do give it a try, let me know how it works. Um, but I typically in the past have only used the groups really to network with other balloon professionals or I've also used it, like I said, to network with other business professionals in my area that are working on a specific product. Um, again, wedding showcases or mitzvah showcases, things like that, where there's a team of people working together and you've got photographers and lighting techs, DJs, other event planners, other decorators that are all going to be one part of one large event. By creating a closed group, you all can have conversation really easily without having to worry about um, trying to follow an email trail. To me, that's like the biggest help in um, having those groups. I'm checking right now for a couple of questions that we've had. The other thing that's really important for people to understand about your um, Facebook page is that it's not about, I'm gonna check out Party People Events here for a second for you. Um, this is the company that I used to own and then sold back in, um, I sold the company back in January so that I could launch ballooncoach.com and I work with them as their marketing director. What we did here is we took a team picture um, Unfortunately, my daughter and I had left when this picture was taken. My husband had had a heart attack that day. So if not, Marley and I would be in that picture also because this was an amazing event that we did at Gaylord Palms in Orlando for a corporate event for their 40th um, anniversary as they were coming for the convention center. So that was a photo that we just thought would be a really great way to paint a picture of party people events showing you Jonathan, our new owner, and a big part of our crew that worked on this beautiful event. We hired a professional photographer to come in to take this photo because to be able to get a really nice photo of that space in this huge convention hall is really tough. So um, that is something that you really want to look at is making sure that you think about the photos that you're putting online. Um, to market yourself, you want to at some point either have really great high quality camera that you use yourself or for special events, hire in a professional photographer that can take shots of your live event and then also capture your staff to be something to promote yourself with. For the profile picture, we put our logo here with our phone number. And that way people know exactly when they type on it that they are on the right page. Um, 
And then as you enter content onto your page, you want to make sure that um, you write something about the event and help people out and knowing what it was for. And we just did this over the weekend where we took the balloons to the ceiling for a space event. And we just list several different pictures so people can scroll through it and see what happened at the event. Um, I try to always take them with the lights on, if at all possible, um, and the lights off so that they can see the different effects that happen on that event. Um, and this is a fun DJ that we work with. Um, so I hope that this information has helped you a little bit um, to give you some ideas of things that you can do to fix up your um, Facebook page, um, or if you know a friend and that you've gone to their page and you've noticed that there's issues, let them know about it because I've noticed a lot of times people don't have the correct hot links to actually get them to their business page. Um, so you wanna check on those things to make sure it actually works. And what I mean is I wanna show you this. We go to my personal page, Joette Myers Giardina. Right here, I'm saying that I'm mentor, motivator, speaker, and see how that little suitcase comes up? It's not going to actually take me anywhere. But when I click on Balloon Coach, it's going to take me to the Balloon Coach Facebook page. So when you get to the Balloon Coach Facebook page, um, it's all tied together. I've seen people before put their name of their company there, and it just takes me to a suitcase page. So you want to make sure that you personally check your links to make sure that they're working. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, right now, um, play on your Facebook page, take a look at things, and if you have more questions, let me know. Send me a message at um, Joette Myers Giardina. You can private message me there or you can send me an email at joette at ballooncoach.com. Um, like I said, in a mini webinar, we can't cover all the bases. We definitely would like to talk more about how to use Facebook more in the future. So if there's other questions you have specifically that Mindy or I can answer for you, let me know. And we will put together um, a part two for you about Facebook to find out the other areas that you're having difficulties with. The main thing with using Facebook for business is you want to make sure that anything that you post on a business page is very professional. It doesn't talk about politics. It doesn't talk about religion. It doesn't talk about um, going out drinking over the weekend or any other things that are going on with your personal business. You want your business page to be all about business and be ways to hook people in to continue to be your fans and to follow you. For more information on other upcoming trainings that we have, go to ballooncoach.com. And we have a new um, look to our website. Um, up top, this is something that you can do on, your, this is a bonus training on your personal um, business pages uh, for your website. On here, it's a subscribe to my feed. So um, you can check on things. Here is a way to email me. Here's a way to Facebook and follow me on Facebook for Balloon Coach. And then this little um, button right here takes you to follow me on YouTube. So if you have YouTube videos that you're creating for your business, you can put those icons into the top of your business page and have people follow you. If you're looking for more information um, about Balloon Coach and our upcoming classes, our November 25th class, you just click here on monthly guest speaker and you go down on the page and it'll teach you all about what's going on with Chris. I'm excited to have Christopher Potts here. If you've not registered yet, we actually have it set up where Qualitex has given me three of the Relia drafts created by Colin Stewart. And you'll be able to win um, possibly one of those um, Relia drops and I'll send it directly to the door of the winners. Um, and you can click on the program to find out a little bit more about Chris's class. It's not just about New Year's, but it's any time you use balloon drops and decor packages throughout the year, how you can do the sales language, and how you can be really confident in the drops that you do. If you're watching this replay after November 17th, what's wonderful about the Balloon Coach program is every month we have a new monthly guest speaker, and you just click on monthly guest speaker and that information will come up. 
If you're needing coaching and you would like more detailed help with somebody to help you implement some of the things we talked about today or help out with your sales conversation, we do have some wonderful um, packages available where you can be in our group coaching that meets on the second and fourth Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Or if you need one-to-one -one or elite coaching to really make dynamic changes in your business, that's what our one-to-one -one coaching is for. For everyone, there's always the free blog here on ballooncoach.com with lots of great tips and hints. I'm doing interviews with different people in the industry to bring you the most up-to-date information of how people are being successful, the steps that they're taking, taking to create more income, and basically how we can support each other to make our industry grow stronger. I'm here to help you take your business to new heights. I look forward to having you in uh, more classes in the future, and thank you for joining us today. Have a wonderful day.